Hello and welcome back to episode 73 of our Auction Not Include Let's Play series. Let's get straight into it. So in the last episode we started planning out or sort of digging out the area for our oxygen generation up here. Because that is sort of a rate limiting factor that we have up here. We just don't have a lot of oxygen diffusing fast enough from here. A simple solution. Uh, let's select another analysis. Sure, analyze this object. Um, a simpler solution would just be to put a pump and run a big pipe up here, but I think in the long run we're going to want some oxygen generation up here. So uh, I'm going to set things up while, we, while we're focusing on this area and waiting for our telescopes to kind of finish up. Okay, so I want a liquid pipe. I want igneous rock. We are going to run this up to here. This will then feed into here which will feed into here, and then this will feed into our electrolyzer. So that's part of the setup that we want going on here. Um, we're going to want to hook up a little bit more power up here. We have a large supply of coal, so we can start moving stuff to, uh, to smart batteries. Having less dupes on these hamster wheels, like having them on the hamster wheels is nice because they're training up their ability to operate. Um, they're, getting, they're getting up stats that we, we like, but uh, I think over time we kind of just want to shift over to Having more coal, essentially, here. Um, this is at a six. These are at sixes. Let's go ahead and say... You start at 30. You start at 15. Uh, set the priority on these a little bit lower. Alright, cool. Try and get him to use this coal generator a little bit more. Waiting delivery coal. Because I do have a lot of coal. Okay, let me pause for a second here. Um, and maybe consider breaching some of this to set up. I kind of want to not have too much vacuum go on here, but also just want to clean this area up a little bit. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, so where is our power going? Yeah, I think we're just going to run a little bit more power down to here to run this. And change up uh, change up this system here. That is, that is the plan. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, make a little bit more space for ourselves here. Say utilities, drywall, Slap down some mafic rock. And set the priority on these to be relatively high. Perfect. And we'll replace this manual generator and jumbo battery with a smart battery and a coal generator. In fact, I think we're gonna go through our base and change a lot of that stuff. Um, here we're setting up some drywall because we ultimately need to get a little bit of air in here to cool off these batteries. Honestly, I should just be putting the batteries lower down, along with the coal generators. Eh, we, we, can, we can deal with this later. Um, maybe that's actually the solution. We just set up our power right here. Kind of fine with that. Okay, let's go ahead and fix that as well then. Coal generator. Yeah. Uh, iron is fine. Yeah, we'll stick with iron. One, two, and then a smart battery made out of iron. We'll add in a jumbo battery as well. Hook this all up with conductive wire made out of iron. And we're just gonna move this stuff down, down here. Maybe it is time to close off this. Go ahead and do that. This is igneous rock. No, it's ceramic. Oop. Dig out this, guys. Sweep it up. We will close off this area. In fact, I'm going to bump us down to a slower speed just so I can uh, pause less as I do this.
Yeah, temperatures is a little bit too high in these telescopes. That's fine. Sweep up all this, please. Great. Okay. So this is where we're going to set up our little oxygen module. Um, we're going to use water from here to manage all this. All right, perfect. Deconstruct, deconstruct. In fact, all the wiring we also want to deconstruct because this is not uh, high enough wiring, I think. Uh, deconstruct all this. Perfect. Set up our new power system in here. Be good to go on that front. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. How is the pumping out going? All right, we're getting closer to vacuum in here. I'm getting there slowly. How are we doing over here? Um, yeah, we're fine with this staying disabled. This is all filled up. This is disabled. This can actually be deconstructed if we like. Uh, let's go ahead and keep some more glass. Looks good. Steel running on here, running here. We want to run this a little bit just to pump out some more of this water. We're going to slowly fill this area up. We have our ceramic being produced eventually. The Slickster population will kind of control itself because they'll start starving. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit grim, but also it'll kind of control itself because we just have too many in here at the moment. They'll be glum. Oh no, this guy's dying. How does this happen? I still don't know. And is this hot enough for this guy? I don't think it is. I could be wrong. I think it's 75, actually. That's fine with them. Okay. Uh, none of them have diver's lungs. Get rid of them. What else? What else? What else? Alright, we're mainly just focused on this getting done. Power! Coal generator. Iron's fine. Let's let this up here. Set up a smart battery. Make this out of iron. We are going to run some conductive wire made out of iron along here. And then we will connect up this. And uh, while we're at it, we will connect up this. It's a lot of iron to be using for this operation. Maybe there's a better way to, to set this up. I'm not going to try and figure it out, though. All right. This will supply us over here. We have this running. So this is all operating. We're eventually going to move these down here. There's no rush because the temperature is fine for now, but eventually it's going to be bad and we're going to want to fix it. Let's go ahead and dig this out. And sweep up stuff as well. Dig this out. Uh, priority 7. More sweeping, please. Get it all down here. Can they reach the storage bin? I think they can. Uh, let's set you to 0. And we'll tune that one down a little bit as well. No, we're actually going to crank this up. Start dumping all the water down here. Get this, get this filled, and then we'll build this out. How are we doing plumbing-wise? Liquid pipe. This is connected up. All right, perfect. Job mastery. Who mastered what? Camille, perfect. 
Um, courier next, sure. Okay, so I am going to want for myself a hydrogen generator. Iron is fine. We're going to stick this right here. I think this is a good location. Okay, we'll stick this right here. Um, we are going to set up for ourselves a smart battery. Also make that an iron right here. Um, we are going to hook that up. First, let's grab ourselves. Let's start setting up our sort of loop. Um, well, the loop for our mechanical filter is going to go here. Uh, ventilation, gas valve, iron's fine. Set this up right here. Yeah, perfect. And we will also ventilation, gas pipe, igneous rock is fine. Set up a loop right here is good. Like so. We're also going to, how oh, do we want to set that up? Um, yeah. This is the way it's traditionally done, or at least the way I've seen a lot of people do it, with three gas pumps per electrolyzer. Not absolutely necessary. You can do it with two. Um, but I'll do the full three. Dig out this, please. Sweep up any and all this. Yeah, and let's uh, sweep up this as well. Temperature on these telescopes has increased a little bit. Which is not great for us, but they're at an okay level. All right. So this is going to be sort of the initial setup. And we are going to say, uh, how about you, for the moment, just pump everything out. Just pump everything out. Um, yeah, we run it across here and just put up a high pressure gas vent. Uh, oh, that's right, because this will get in the way. Ventilation, gas pipe, uh, more like so. High pressure gas vent right here. We're just going to have it pump out for now. And you'll see why in a bit, because we need to we need to prime our mechanical filter. Um, the mechanical filter is a pretty simple thing. It does take up a, a little bit of, takes a, it takes a little bit of setup though. But conceptually it's pretty easy. Um, it's just that you need to do a little work to set it up first. Let's also sweep up like so. Get this stuff all down into its uh, storage areas here. Let's increase the priority on this. Oh, and we also need our automation wire. No real point without this. Perfect. Okay. Crank this back up. There are a lot of things I need to work on. I probably should just like have an episode where I'm entirely paused and go and do things and explain why I'm doing them. Because um, I'm not terribly great at doing things and talking at the same time, or at least trying to keep on top of the entire game as I'm playing and building things and talking about them. 
and lagging out like crazy. Uh, so, where are we at? This stuff should be getting filled up. It's possible that the water level's high enough that they can't quite get there. I don't think that's true because of what we have set up. I think we're still good on that at that point. Camille. Yep, we saw that one already. Um, Alright, perfect. We also would like to set up a little area down here. Doesn't have to be much. Like so is fine. Though we think Maybe we build a bit of granite tile then, just so we have a, well, yeah, I think this is fine. Um, sweep this stuff up, boys. Yeah, and this is where excess hydrogen is ultimately going to go. Um, we're just going to put it down here for the moment. We'll have to get a better system, but for now, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put excess hydrogen there. Okay. So, what else do we need to do while we're waiting for this to build? Um, I'm kind of fine with the temperature management here. I do just want... Yeah, this is at maximum. Average flow weight, 500 grams per second. Why is the flow rate so low? I'm confused. What have we done here? We have our valve. It could take everything, right? Oh. Is it not? Is that really? Okay, let's uh, set this higher. We need a guy to go in there and change it. I forgot. Then they haven't gotten around to it because I didn't set the priority high enough. Fair enough. Go, go and fix this. Did you not? What happened here? Okay, average flow rate's back up to where we want it. So this should start draining. Yeah, here we go. That's what we want. Now we turn this off. Perfect. Jobs mastered. All right, jobs. All right, here you are. Banhi, where do we want you? Um, I'm gonna stick you on groundskeeper. The more plumbers I can get, the better. All right, so we want this temperature to kind of equal out. We'd like this stuff to get a little bit warmer before we start running it through a water sieve, which means having it come into contact with this hotter stuff up here. So this is cooling off now. Yeah, this is getting better. Okay. So maybe this is as good as it gets for us right now. And we can just run things through the water sieve uh, to get it all powered up. All right, telescope idle. Let's fix that. Gas giant. How do we want to do this? Let's start back at the bottom. This is where we're actually going to visit. How doing ventilation wise? Filling it back up. Okay. This area is going to fill with carbon dioxide. That's fine. Really? What do we make you out of? How are you overheating? Where is the temperature coming from? I guess we just haven't been running this enough. Maybe we can crack in here and repair this, I suppose. But for now. <coughs> That's interesting. Okay. So, these are all waiting lime. 
which needs to be produced from the fossil, which is going to take some work. We have eggshells being made. Should be alright. Where are you guys at? Happy? Happy? Uh, happy. This one's cramped. These guys are cramped. Alright. Still, that's ultimately good. Okay. Focus, focus, focus. So basically what we're going to do... I'll have to cut the episode again. We didn't make enough progress, but... Uh, Alright, another, another job mastery, sorry. May, uh... You know, we're going to make you as a plumber as well. Um, we're going to set up our... Uh, our electrolyzer right here with these pumps around it. And we are going to prime this loop right here to only have hydrogen in it. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take this gas valve and we're going to say only let a little bit of uh, gas through. We're going to fill this with hydrogen. And then this is just going to have a constant loop of a small amount of hydrogen gas in it, which means that only hydrogen gas will be allowed in here um, in the future, right? Because it'll always be hydrogen gas and you can't merge two different packets of gas. And so then we're just going to have bridges that say, look, if you can, go down here onto this loop, right? And uh, that will mean that all the hydrogen packets that come through are going to say, oh, I can go down to this bridge because there's hydrogen. I can go down this bridge because there's hydrogen there and they'll, they'll make that journey. And all the oxygen packets will say, I can't go down there, there's hydrogen, and they'll continue on, right? So that'll be kind of how we do our mechanical filter for this room. And other than that, it's gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna wall it off with insulation. Um, we're gonna have the oxygen pump out to pretty much anywhere. We can cool it off beforehand if we like. There's nothing really up here that we care about the temp temperature-wise too much. We can just have a bunch of wheeze warts around. Um, but then we're gonna have hydrogen. All the hydrogen is gonna be on this loop. Uh, as needed, the hydrogen will come out to this hydrogen generator uh, and power the generator. And then excess hydrogen that gets past this hydrogen generator will go into a storage area, which we can then use to do other stuff if we want. All right, so that's the plan. Um, let's go back to our star map, open star map, analyze object. And yeah, that's, that's ultimately the plan here. Um, we are going to set up a mechanical filter after priming this uh, gas loop that we have down here. After priming this gas loop with uh, hydrogen, we're going to um, set up a mechanical filter and uh, have, have it basically prioritized such that it goes through maintaining the mechanical filter first, any excess goes on to the hydrogen generator, any excess from the hydrogen generator goes on to storage for hydrogen. And we'll set up like a hamster wheel right here. That way we can, if people want, they can run on this wheel and generate more hydrogen for us because it'll relieve the power uh, from this side here. Um, while we're talking about power, let me just, before I end the episode, go ahead and uh, hook up our automation. Automation wire like so. And I guess this is hook up a little bit of the power for now. Um, conductive wire. Uh, it's going to come out to here because we're going to have a uh, uh, we're going to have a, a hamster wheel here, and then we're just going to run our way up. And let's go ahead and set it across like this. All right. Okay. I'm going to cut the episode here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.